doing? I'm practicing. What is that? Some kind of rap song? No, it's Shakespeare. Oh, the bard. I should have known. All that flowery language is enough to give me hay fever. And what's with all the rhyming anyway? No one talks like that in real life. It's a monologue, honey, but it needs to sound sweeter if I'm going to audition for New York's public theater. Perhaps I can assist with your Shakespeare rehearsal. You know, I once played Othello and was quite controversial. Oh, thanks. That'd be great. I could use some direction. But this has got to be good to avoid their rejection. Is it the balcony scene you're rehearsing? Tis true. Then perhaps we should find a high tower for you. There's one in the basement, but Tuck's there now sleeping. Well, for God's sakes, don't wake him or his help you'll be reaping. What the... What are you two up to? Do you know what she means? No, I don't. But do you? Can't imagine. I see. Then let's start from your cue. Sure, yeah, okay. We can start this right now. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where Fora art thou? What? You think I'm stupid or deaf? You don't think I know you're rhyming on purpose? The question is... Why are you doing it? Deny thy father and refuse thy name. Cut needs more feeling. Now try it again. I could bow my head low to show how I'm dismaying, or kneel with both paws held real tight like I'm praying. Will you please stop doing that? You sound more like Dr. Seuss than William Shakespeare. And if I felt like listening to that kind of antiquated language and thinking, I would be watching the Pat Robertson show. Because that man is so out of touch, not even a decade of Viagra could get him up to speed. Wow, talk about killing the mood. Yeah, she's good at that. Well, maybe we can do it later. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Must be from using my diaphragm <clears throat> so much. What, you got the hiccups? No, I don't think so. <clears throat> Well, maybe. Oh, they sound pretty nasty. I could scare you. That might help. You know what would really help? If you two amateurs took your juvenile theatrics to a totally different venue. Like maybe Pittsburgh. It's no use. I can't really identify with this Julia chick anyway. I mean, she knows this guy for like a day, and she's ready to give everything up for him? It's like West Side Story all over again. Actually, Romeo and Juliet came first. You mean West Side Story is the sequel? No, West Side Story is a reimagining. Oh, you mean like how the new Sex in the City 2 is really a reimagining of the Golden Girls? Exactly. Or like Justin Bieber is a reimagining of The Omen? Yes. Or how your current conversation is a reimagining of Chinese water torture? Uh, not quite, no. <clears throat> but Hollywood likes to reimagine famous stories to capitalize on its previous <clears throat> popularity. Then how do you explain Land of the Lost, which is based on a pretty bad kid <clears throat> show to begin with? I don't think anyone can explain Land of the <clears throat> Lost. It will always be an enigma. Tippy, I thought you weren't interested in acting anymore, now that Tuck has become your primary uh, focus. Oh, please, that was so yesterday. I don't know what was going on in my head, but do you really think I would actually let anyone come between me and a promising film career? That depends. Who's been doing the promising? I think you'd better rehearse somewhere else, Tippy. It seems like the Queen is in need of some privacy. The Queen? What Queen? Why, honey, of course. What's the matter with you? Oh, nothing. Just remembering a bad dream, I guess. Hey, why not try one of Kate's monologues from Taming of the Shrew? You know, find something you can really identify with. What's going on? Oh, Tippy is back to her old self again, diligently preparing for a career that will never happen. Much like Allie Lohan. Only this time she's taken up Shakespeare. Shakespeare? Well, why didn't anyone call me? As the resident Brit and in-house expert on Shakespeare, you would think I'd be consulted first. It's okay. Trey filled in for you. Which is sort of like watching Denzel Washington trying to fill in for Ricky Gervais. 
or the Whitney Houston of today trying to fill in for the Whitney Houston of the 80s and 90s. It just doesn't work. <laughs>